week. But and that's why I wanted to bring up the the Iran issue. You know, I'm half Iranian, half American. You know, I was raised in a Christian upbringing for the most part. My dad's a Muslim. He lives in Iran, and I wanted to bring up this Iran issue. I know you've covered it a lot, uh, but people still don't really see it. You know, I talk to people all the time. I do a lot of blogging on uh, different topics, just like you, and I link a lot of my articles to you because you get a lot of just awesome factoids on your website. But <laughs> when people are still buying into this, you know, Iranians want to bomb Israel or whatever the media pushes. And Abdina John said he wants to sort of wipe Israel off the map, and it's just not the case. People just keep buying into it, even people in my own family. It's hard to get across to them. They're generalizing an entire country, and they don't even realize it. And obviously I'm pushing this because you, know, you see what happened in Iraq. You see what happened in Afghanistan, what's going on in Egypt and in and, and Libya. And people are going to buy into this, and you're going to see more little girls and little boys like that uh, on the Internet. Nobody's going to talk about it in the news, but it, it's just sick that people can still buy into that crap. you got Bill O'Reilly misquoting things that the uh, Iranian president, uh, Ahmadinejad, is saying uh, about wanting to wipe Israel off the map. And it's not, it's not the case. You know, I don't support Ahmadinejad by all means. I think he's kind of a twisted guy. But you can see what they're doing, obviously. Well, he's getting in trouble right now for uh, corruption probes. And, and, and look, everybody knows the president is, quote, allowed to run in Iran. He's basically selected before it ever happens. It's the Supreme Council. Six years ago, they had... Very, you know, uh, soft line folks that wanted to work with the West and truly build peaceful reactors, and they were double crossed, so they put hardliners in. And I've seen different uh, sociological numbers of 70 to 80 percent of the Persians don't like their hardline government. So, you know, the question is Pakistan's got nukes, North Korea does. Why can't Iran, which, by the way, isn't even getting nukes right now, but as Ron Paul's pointed out, why have a new war with them? Because it becomes a political diversion, and Benjamin Netanyahu is in the Washington Times, his advisor saying he thinks it'll make him look like Churchill, even when his own advisors and the Mossad people that he, by the way, had kicked out are telling him, don't do it, don't do it, because it is going to totally destabilize that whole region. Israel's going to get attacked from all sides, just as, uh, uh, just as um, Pachenik was saying. Uh, earlier uh, here on the show last week or so, or two weeks ago now. It's a very, very bad idea. I appreciate uh, your call. But but um, knowing folks in Iran, uh, I mean, is that an accurate number? What percentage of the people in Persia don't like what's going on? Well, uh, a majority of you got to realize that the majority of the population in Iran right now is under the age of 27. And it's a very young, very sophisticated population and probably the most aware as far as uh, political issues, even eugenic issues. Uh, you can talk to just about any Iranian, and they'll talk about these things just like you do every day on your show. And if you were to just go and talk to or ask questions to just random people on the streets of Tehran or Isfahan or Shiraz, just go talk to them and ask them what they think about the, the Western media saying that Iranians in general just hate Israel, hate Jews, or hate Christians, they'll laugh at you. It's the stupidest thing. And I'm talking about a very peaceful populations, just the owner crowd. You know, my father, people exactly. his age, you know, grew up in the revolution time. Yeah, they have a little bit of a twisted view. Yeah. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Patty Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com That's endofamerica, the number 3.com Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com That's endofamerica3.com Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. 
The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. All of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hush, I'm going to continue with your phone calls, then get into 2.1 Kids Stable Population Video slash Audio uh, that uh, is put out. Uh, by an organization that's done the research on this subject. I've separately literally read dozens of books on population and confirmed uh, these numbers for myself. And you can just type into YouTube, 2.1 kids, stable populations. In fact, guys, will you just print me this with the pull down on it so I can actually plug the group? I've, I've plugged them before, but I, I can't read the organization here. Thank you. Uh, and then they've got their website that uh, goes over it all because we're seeing all this demonization taking place uh, against populations and people having children, and I wanted to to, to go over some of those uh, myths with all this hype of the seventh the seventh billionth person being born, and then we'll play the overpopulation, the making of a myth. Uh, we'll uh, break that down uh, as well. But first, we'll go to your calls. Then I'll get into Prince Charles has been offered a veto over twelve government bills. Since 2005, how does the royalty still have vetoes over laws in England if they don't have any power like the tabloids tell us? Or how does the Queen of England, three times in the last three years, abolish Parliament in Canada because they wouldn't do what she wanted? Or in Australia? She owns more than half of Canada on record. This is probably the richest family in the world after the Dutch royal family, their cousins, and as I covered last week, I always say they're German royalty. They're not even German. They're Transylvanian royalty. As the BBC and others reported, Prince Charles admits that he wants to save the Transylvanian Carpathian forest because he is the heir of Count Dracula. You cannot make it up. And, of course, they want to reduce world population by 80 to 90 percent. Of course, they want to shut down our resources. They're, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the he's 500 years later, he's the progeny of Count Dracula. Yeah, it's the overpopulation myth.com group. And I want to get them on as guests. Just amazing research as it dovetails all the research I've done. It's very common sense research. You can do it for yourself. We're going to be doing some nightly news reports, breaking it down from our own research later in the week. But that's coming up after I go to some more of your calls. Who's been holding the longest here? Peter and then Matthew, Don, James, and uh, Rick and others. But before I go any further, I have not really been hyping this, but it, it has been a big success in that a lot of folks are signing up, and our mission is to reach more people. I've had PrisonPlanet.tv for eight and a half plus years. This next April will be nine years. It has all of my radio shows, commercial-free podcast every day, my book, Paul Watson's book, all of my films, expanded extras, hundreds of special video reports only there, the nightly news now, other special reports, the rant section, the only area I haven't updated in a while. I'm going to do a bunch of those real soon. It's all at prisonplanet.tv. So again, if you go to prisonplanet.tv, you can sign up 
right there on the site for 15 cents a day uh, or 5.95 a month or get a yearly membership and get three months free. But you can sign up now for, and try 15 days. If you don't like it, cancel any time. So, again, 15-day free trial right now, prisonplanet.tv. And, yes, you're supporting the tip of the spear alternative media. You are building an organization to face down the globalist. And, yes, prisonplanet.tv viewers get it when it first airs at 7 o'clock every night and the restream. And that large portions of it are posted to one of our YouTube channels that has 150 million uh, views on it. Uh, and so you're also then financing us reaching tens of millions there and the hundreds of other video channels that copy it as well. And I haven't even gotten ready yet to put the nightly news on different cable and, and, and TV systems that want it. It's going to be more a la carte here and there. But we've had a lot of people reach out to us. I'm told there's already systems all over the country airing it because we're getting the calls and emails about it. And I've run into folks in Houston who own a cable channel that have put it on. I need to actually get in contact with them and create a whole listing. <laughs> we're moving so fast, we don't even know everywhere we're on yet. People are already grabbing this thing live, which is pretty crazy because sometimes it has glitches and stuff live now. We haven't, that's why we're beta testing. We haven't gotten all the kinks ironed out, but whatever. It's exciting. Don't wait for orders from headquarters. Go to the Sound of the Guns. 15-day free trial, prisonplanet.tv. And, and speaking of not not screwing around, uh, you, I, you know, I had the idea to offer our bumper stickers, not at a small profit, but at no profit. We have a 15 bumper sticker pack with different selections for $3.95. It was $6.95, so now it's half off. $3.95 instead of $6.95, and that includes Citizen Rulebook and some other stuff, or it'd be even less because that thing costs us about 55 cents. Uh, then we have a 25 variety pack. It's 5.95. Was 9.95. We have a 50 pack. It's now 9.95 instead of 14.95. We have a 100 pack, 17.95 instead of 24.95. And by the way, to even get the prices down to this, we're going to sell out quick. I just ordered 20,000 of each type of bumper sticker. As soon as I gave the order to do this, they said we got to order then. 20,000 of each because we'll run out quick. It takes two weeks to get them. And I just had to order. 20,000 more citizen rule books. Get them. Let's have a major offensive with the bumper stickers in legal and lawful areas. Certainly don't stick these on Homeland Security uh, billboards saying spy on your neighbor on Soviet takeover billboards. You know, people in Germany, I guess, shouldn't have stuck stickers up against Hitler either. But 